you guys asked for it on my TikTok. So here it is. I'm going to show you the complete slow down tutorial on how to create design. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're in Cricut's design space. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type out Jesus. You can make this technically any font you want to. I highly recommend not making it a, um, and you'll see later on the video if you've never seen this or you didn't see it on my TikTok. I'm choosing this font up here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but choosing a bold font that is not like a script or a cursive, that one will be best. But again, you can choose whatever font you want. So what I'm gonna do is now go into Cricut's images and I'm going to choose this one right here. It is like, it's thorns. I was going to do a crown of thorns, but these thorns are going to be more in sync of what I imagined. So what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and duplicate these. I didn't end up needing these in the design, but I always recommend just going ahead and duplicating it just in case. So you don't have to go and try to go into Cricut's images and find it again. Just go ahead and duplicate it at the beginning. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and playing around with and positioning it where I want it to go like this first part. So I'm going to take this square, then I'm going to go ahead and start putting it over the places I want to carve out. Like you can leave it like that. You can have it go over the J-E-S and then go behind the U-N-S, but that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and position it right here. Select the, sh um, the shape, so the square. Then you're going to also um, select the thorn or the image and you're going to slice it out. Then you're going to remove that piece, but you're going to keep these other two pieces. We're not deleting these because we're going to continue to use the leftover parts. And I'm just sliding that closer to the E and make sure you're doing this and lining it up where you want it. I'm moving it to the back, but again, you could leave it in the front. It's up to you. I put it in the back, but you can see I am still positioning it where it looks like it's following the initial branch. I'm going to cut off this piece piece right here. So I'm going to put the square over this part of the thorn or this part of the image, and I'm going to slice it again, delete the first part. And then I'm going to continue to keep these other parts because I'm going to continue to use them just in case. So again, I'm now look at the right hand side of the panel. I'm moving this all the way to the back because that's where I wanted this. And then I'm going to start lining this part up. And as you can see, I'm going to flip this up because I want it going further up, but you can see I'm lining the third part of this image or so the third thing that I'm putting right here. I'm putting it where it looks and lining it up with the first and second piece. So it looks like a constant flow. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color in a second so you can see it better. So you see where I'm doing, I'm lining it up. So it looks like it's following a path in this design. Don't just put it anywhere. It, it will not work if you just put it anywhere on the design. Just make sure you're lining it up where the other or previous image is. For instance, that second piece, it looks like it's following a curved pattern. So once I have it put here where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and start um, selecting the image and so that I can change the color. And once I have the shade, um, the color changed into the black, just so you can see it better, I'm going back into the images and I'm going to take this um, last square and I'm going to go over this part of the last piece that I want to put and because I, I want to put it behind the S. Again, you can leave it just like it is. You can have this piece stay over the S if you want so you don't have to go and slice it again and create extra pieces. But again, this is just what I want it. So I'm gonna take this piece and move it all the way to the bottom. You can right click on it and then choose uh, move to back and it'll do the same thing. But I just wanted to demonstrate what I was doing that you can also move it on the side panel. So I'm deleting all these pieces that I didn't need. And I did go back and create design images and choose some little roses just to add something to it. And now what I'm gonna do is I did type out reins and I'm going to go ahead and position it right here because that's around the place I want to put it but I did change the font now what I'm gonna do is position it where I want it to sit and I'm also again going to change the color because it's going to be easier for you to see on the screen and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an offset on here for this offset it's going to be very very thin don't create a really big one I want it to be thin um, and that's the uh, I think I went to a zero five zero or something like that I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to take the offset and then the text where it says Jesus those are two I'm going to select slice it and then delete all the unwanted pieces so that piece got deleted this piece gets 
gets deleted. And then this last piece right there on the right side of the screen gets deleted. And that's what you're left with. But this is what's important. You see how it's no longer in position. I'm putting the Jesus all the way to the back, but that's not where it's going to stay because I want it looking like the thorns are coming through it. So I moved it up a layer and it's still not how I originally was. So I'm moving it up another layer. And this is exactly where it needs to stay in order for it to come out and print the way we want it to print. So it positioning it there on that right side of the panel is extremely important to get that interweaving design. So now I'm doing is I took the cross, I just duplicated it and I'm going to slice this piece and you can see I'm turning the um, square to follow the pattern or the lineage of the S. So in order for it to look like it's coming through the S, you really need to position it correctly. I'm deleting these one and you can see it right. What I was talking about right there, you have to kind of curve it. So it looks like, cause that S is curved and I'm slicing the bottom part of that, but I'm getting rid of the top two layers keeping this last layer and moving it just to the back. And this is the most important. Keep that image up. Keep that workspace up. So because you're going to need to layer it or lay it on the shirt in the same order that it is on that right side of the panel. So hopefully this helps. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.